Now, of course, last week we chatted to Simon Bray, CEO of Private Property, about the launch of a very exciting new addition to their website, Neighborhoods. Today, we take a closer look at this exciting new feature, starting with one particular neighborhood, Santon, our financial hub. Simon, welcome back. Great to have you join us. Thanks, Graham. Yeah, good to be here. A very exciting new development on the website. I know you guys have had this cooking for quite a while now. Now we focus on one of those prime neighborhoods, Santon. What is it about Santon that, that has um, so much interest? Why is this such a financial hub for South Africa? Yeah, I mean, well, you hit the nail on the head, right? I mean, that's where all the commerce and all the business energy really happens in our country, and perhaps even in the continent. You've heard yeah. of Santon described as the richest square mile in Africa. You know, I don't know how true that is, but it's <laughs> certainly true of South Africa. It's, the, it's where all the business seems to happen. The JSC is obviously there. Uh, all your top organizations, top businesses are based there. So, I mean, some of the most influential people in the country live and or work around Santon. And we've seen some of the most influential architecture as well. I think a lot of those big companies choosing to invest in their own assets in that particular area. Well, it's great to see that, actually. Like, a lot of local architects really getting prominent new buildings. Uh, you know, I think of that Norton Rose building. It's yeah. just unbelievable, and the lights uh, that light up. So, some fantastic uh, architecture and design coming into our financial capital. And of course, an unmatched lifestyle. If I had to, to get you to summate that Santon lifestyle, what is it all about? Well, that's the cool thing about this neighborhood section that we put on the site. It's answering that question. What is it to live in an area like Santon? So, I mean, when you think of Santon, modern, uh, urban sophistication, uh, business, uh, that all comes to mind, and that's pretty obvious. You know, you've got Santon City, you've got Michelangelo Towers, so you've got hotel, you've got shopping. Uh, but what people don't realize is the suburbs around Santon, you know, places like uh, Bryanston, Sandown, Hyde Park, they're all beautiful places to live. They've got some unbelievable homes. Uh, and the benefits of living so close to a business center like Santon means that you're not stuck in the traffic. It's convenient to go home. You can mix family and business in a way that's quite unusual in the country. Um, and an interesting mix of old and new money in the area as well. The, the, the words upwardly mobile certainly come to mind. For sure. um, it's an area that's mushrooming. Can the same apply or be applied to the property market there? What is the property market like in Santon? Yeah, the property market, I mean, some data and insights from our site that are quite interesting is uh, Santon has about 60% more demand, more attention than other areas in Gauteng. Wow. So it's certainly, I mean, perhaps unsurprisingly so, yeah. a popular area for people looking to buy or rent. Um, and some of the pricing, you know, fascinating stats is that 11 billion rands worth of property is currently on the market just in that Santon area. So it's like yeah. a huge amount of money. <laughs> uh, and, and average property values are high as well. You know, around 5 million rand for an average house in, in the Santon neighborhood. So I'm guessing a, a lot of that traffic then is being channeled into rentals. What's the rental market like in Santon? Yeah, well, that's the nice thing, you know. Not all of us can afford to live uh, in a five million rand home straight off the bat, but we still work in some of these high-powered organizations around Santon. So rental is a great opportunity to get into the market. Uh, a typical two-bedroom apartment in Santon will set you back 15, 15, five a month. So the rental's still... I would say affordable for the convenience and the lifestyle that you've got there. Yeah, quite similar to the Atlantic seaboard in some respects, yeah. I think. Um, so we look at that mix. You talk about the culture of an area with neighborhoods, and that's really what it's all about, is knowing the community that you're buying into. What, what would your typical neighbor be in Santon? Who would they be? We asked that question, you know. We wanted to identify locals that really represented an area and what it's all about. So um, we filmed an experience or showcase video for Santon and we picked Nabuntu Webster, a local entrepreneur in, in Santon area. And she's kind of what your typical neighbor would look like. Uh, upwardly mobile, like you said, uh, young entrepreneur, very business-minded, business-orientated, uh, loves things like the Chow train, ease of access to the airport, hotels for international clients or local clients to come and visit the center. So, you know, that type of person, someone that's engaged with business, uh, that has meetings at the various businesses around Santon, uh, uses the, the, you know, hotels, spas, uh, restaurants uh, to entertain clients, uh, and, you know, you've got the beautiful homes on the doorstep so you can move in and, and relax if you need to. And, of course, a huge amount of infrastructural development happening there as well. I know people battling with the traffic at the moment, but that all um, paints a very bright picture about where the future is going. So what's your, your final tip regarding Santon as our featured neighbourhood? 
I mean, it's, it's an obvious choice if you uh, are an engaged business individual and you want to stay close to the heartbeat of commerce in South Africa. Santon is an excellent neighborhood for you uh, and a good investment opportunity as well. All right, so if you've got the bucks, invest now, Simon. Thank you so much. Thanks, Ben. Um, look forward to the next neighbourhood that we're going to explore. Well, there you have it. Simon Bray giving his thoughts on Santon today. Now, visit the privateproperty.co's website to discover more about private property and their new neighbourhood information. Find your ideal community, your ideal neighbourhood.